Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal and they take on Fulham. Yeah, the talking is over. The game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. The defenders will certainly have done their homework, Lee, and on that basis must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Thomas Parze starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Now, there has been some discussion about the style of play. Some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we expect, Lee? Yeah, they do tend to collapse when they don't have the ball. They sit off the opposition, almost inviting pressure onto them before trying to open up when they do have the ball. I don't think we'll see any changes today in that approach. Granit Xhaka. Thomas now. Nicolas Pepe. Now Lacazette. Thomas. Chance to do damage. An unforced error, you've got to say. Harrison Reed, and now Kenny Tete. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. It is to be a throw-in. The cross is on. Dangerous-looking attack. He must finish, and the ball is loose. Well, nothing untoward happened. Thomas. Well, the crowd have been fantastic. Arsenal trying to react. They are conceding too many chances, though. Granit Xhaka. Well, no way through. An example of how to press. Lemina. Now with Mitrovic. Bobby Reid. Reid now. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Options in the centre. Ivan Cavaleiro. Veering in field here. Well cleared away. That strong play here on the shielding front. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. They couldn't hang on to it again. Holding. It's with Danny Ceballos. Martinelli. Lacazette.
Ceballos must take the lead here and they have you've got to say it has been coming Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee, that's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's been a decent half for Arsenal. The coach still has some work to do at half-time, though. Ball retention has to improve a little bit if they're going to dominate in the second half. Possession could be key. Lemina. Adarabayo, Loftus Cheek, Ivan Cavaleiro, Eina. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Cross blocked. And firing it into the area. And that is offside. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Harrison Reed. Ball played nicely. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Aina. Reed now. Loftus cheek. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Martinelli. Gabriel. And the emphasis is on creativity. Ceballos, is it going to be? Couldn't grab hold of it. Can they get in behind them? Plays it back. Wonderful block. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. 
Effective looking pass. Aina. Well, they keep the ball moving. Rob them. Arsenal dominating possession over the last 15 minutes. They've created a lot from midfield. Their forwards are having a field day. Coach will be really happy with the creativity, but he'd be even happier if he can extend their lead now. Very happy indeed. Ivan Cavaleiro, Loftus Cheek. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Losing possession here. Excellent ball over the top. And a strong tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bobby Reid. And now Kenny Tete. Laid into the centre. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Bobby Reid. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Tete. It's with Onguisa. Poor pass under no real pressure. Well, Arsenal have certainly worked very hard to get into the lead in this game. The crowd have played their part. They've cranked the atmosphere up a notch or two. The players know they're not far away now. He's lost it. Onguisa. Now with Mitrovic. Loftus cheek. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. Obama Yang. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Bobby Reid. Well, successfully cut out. So there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them, Lee. Well, it was tight, wasn't it? Just done enough in the end, I suppose, to deserve the win. Tactically, a really good game, Derek. Well, the cameras zooming in on Alex Lacazette on the back of this performance, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.